case 12. Yeah, very nice. We have plump, atypical cells forming nests and solitary cells that are filling and scattering all the way up to the top of the epidermis. They have pale cytoplasm. They are making an eyeliner sign down here, but it's kind of a squished, thin eyeliner sign or crushed eyeliner sign, like right here, look. You can see there's a little line underneath, but they are so compressed as opposed to kind of the, the more thick eyeliner sign that you see like in squamous cell carcinoma in situ, Bowen's disease, right? The other thing is that Bowen's disease usually will have some areas that are full thickness, complete filling of the epidermis by atypical cells, and you almost never see that in pagets or in melanoma. So melanoma usually does not make an eyeliner, so that would be one clue to tell you that this is probably pagets, not melanoma. The other clue is that we're on the nipple. There's the big bundles of uh, smooth muscle there that you see in the nipple and the areola. So in that site, um, it's it's something that looks like this is Paget's unless proven otherwise. I mean, you could have a melanoma on the nipple, but you would never make the diagnosis, I think, without stains or like obvious, you know, I guess with stains. And uh, do note that uh, rarely uh, Paget's of the nipple can express SOX10. Um, Dr. Michelle Pitch, uh, our former fellow and now colleague, uh, presented a very uh, scary case of that at the ASDP meeting uh, last year. So in this case, you could, so just be beware of that. So um, what I would do here is probably like CK7, which will, is my favorite stain for pagets, both extra mammary and mammary pagets. There are rare times where uh, pagets is negative for CK7, like in the perianal area, it can sometimes be CK20 positive, um, <clears throat> but uh, CK7 is the one I like, or you could use another low molecular weight like CAM 5.2. I don't use GCDFP15 or mammoglobin. That's kind of like dirty or nonspecific kind of old school immunostain in my opinion i don't find those stains very helpful um, but you could use um, ck7 also her two new um, immunostain uh, stains like essentially um, from a recent lecture i went to basically all cases of pageants of the nipple are essentially always positive for her too which i was not aware of but that's what uh, one breast pathologist said at a, a meeting i went to not long ago so uh, I have only done that like maybe once and it worked beautifully. So if you need to, you can do her too. And of course, a patch to the nipple is they have to work up to rule out underlying invasive or in situ breast cancer. Um, so there has to be concern for that. And always check the dermis to see if there's invasion because pagets, both nipple and extra mammary pagets can have invasion of the actual dermis from the in situ stuff. Sometimes you can see mucin in the cells. You can do a mucicarmin stain to highlight that if you like. Um, sometimes you can see like little droplets of blue mucin. We kind of can get a hint of it here, but it's not great. And sometimes you can actually see lumen formation, little gland formation. Oh wait, there it is one right here. See, there's a little globule of, of mucin production inside this tumor cell. So that's Paget's disease. And I have other videos and examples of that online.